All right. I do this every time I start. Just rub eyes and exhale and just uh, be ready for the Wednesday edition of GeoGuessr. This time I've decided to try a map called An Extraordinary World. It's supposed to be a bunch of really cool, weird places all over the world. I forget exactly what these are, but these are these um, warm prompt. These are the uh, limestone mountains in southeast China or Vietnam. However, this does not look Vietnamese to me, so we're uh, peering into the void. And also, in this part of the world. So, exactly where, <clears throat> I could not tell you. Um, but I have the region. And before I forget, because I've done this before, I am going to uh, click a spot. Now, I'm sure this is uh, definitely not on the coast and could be like here somewhere, but also I don't know how uh, densely populated this part of the, co the world, the country is. It's around here. Um, are we stuck here? I think we are. All right, so they did say these were going to be potential photospheres. But, um, man, it's been a uh, weird morning. It's already been a three-day weekend. However, what's this say? I uh, no idea if this is, uh, whatever these are called. Dragon trees or dragon mountains or something. We'll find out in two minutes, but. I am currently in a holding pattern waiting for those stupid snow tires to get put on. However, there is a snowstorm that hit overnight that, um, if you remember on Friday, me complaining, it's basically the same thing again. I tried getting into work and trying to get to, like, a more heavily trafficked and plowed road, but to get there from here requires going over some roads that don't get much plowing action and are pretty hilly and it ended up with me being stuck again behind some cars and I just said fuck it I do not want to deal with that today so I took the day off as much as I really didn't want to but it's frustrating being like okay I want to I have everything I need it's just I personally cannot put snow tires on myself I do not have the dex the manual strength to uh rip tires off my rims and smoosh these ones on so i'm just stuck waiting for whenever there's going to be a allowed time so taking this moment to uh do this in the morning uh, i'm gonna make my guess and see how close oh fuck we were a little farther in okay this is uh wuling yuan scenic and historic interest area Let's see if this has actually got a thing it doesn't so, these type of limestone mountain ranges can happen not on the coast, but also in the center of the country. So, yeah. Um, this, I have no idea. Oh, these things, if I remember right, Petra doesn't exist anymore. Is that true? No, I think that was something else. Petra's in Jordan, isn't it? I think it is. Let me, uh... Let me take a look around this part, looking for green. They don't say anything. Hmm. Unless it's... I think it's around here. Now that is a name. 6th of October City. Um, I'm just going to click us probably... I believe it's in Jordan, not Syria. I don't remember exactly where <clears throat> certain locations are. You'll forgive me. I tried. Um, but how close can I get? About that close. This thing is crazy, though. That just... I'm, I'm sure there was some logic behind it. Give me a sec. I gotta pause the mic and cough. Um, instead of being right here or, you know, over in this area, they're like, no, we're, we're putting it right here. Took a long t 
time to uh, chip that thing away out. Pretty crazy and fucking cool. But let's see, what do we got for the gift shops? Petra Book, Bedouin Silver, Soft Drinks, and Hot Drinks. Hmm. Now, the picture of that makes me not feel that that's Jordan. This potentially could be Saudi Arabia, but the problem is... Couldn't tell you, none of these things really say what they are as, like, designated. Ooh, Jebel Shar, that is. So I'm going to, like, be this far out, and maybe the uh, little sign for whatever it is will pop up, but this is a very uh, sparse part of the world as far as uh, locating wherever the hell Petra is. Uh, granted, I only really remember that from uh, Civilization. Um, I can't tell you ex if it's between these two. I think I've got a pretty good region. I should get some bonus points for at least remembering exactly what it's called. But the problem is, uh, unless this thing pops up somewhere here. Let's see. Mount Hermon. Hmm. Petroglyphs, come on. You should like stick out from here, but I'm not. I'm not seeing it. I mean, I got some time. I'll wander a bit, see if I can't uh, stumble across it. Cause who knows? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got a itchy throat this morning. Um, I feel like I've already been over this whole area here, and let's see. Could it be farther south? I mean, I feel that this guy up here, this is like maybe the Saudi, maybe not the, uh, hmm. Let's see if these things say anything. Lemon with the mints. Hmm, nothing here. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing a flag anywhere. If they like had a flag put up, that would probably help me a bit, but I don't think this one does. Let me do, I got 10 seconds to see if I can't get around. And uh, take a look-see. Give me a flag. Perhaps. Oh, I did get the... Uh... Oh, yeah, it does say Petra. I had to be one more click in. I'd get, I did get the country right. Okay, so Petra is right there. Okay, this is pretty fucking... I didn't know there was this whole thing here. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Well, I am not going to get this, just because this can be the Sahara, the, the Namib Desert, Kalahari Desert. I mean, this woman's just walking alone by herself. There's a road over here, though. I wonder if I can get here in time. I'm going to pause again to clear my throat. All right. Let me... Oh, I do see... Let's get way down here. I'm going to try to uh, get to that road. I'm not holding out much hope. Let's hit forward here. Okay, we did go flying. Scoot, scooch a bit. Um, ooh, I can go way over. I do see a radio tower over there. The problem is, I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. I couldn't tell you. Oh, we're, why are we swinging this way? I don't like that. I'm just looking for X's on the map here, as far out as I can get. Um, we were kind of headed towards the road. Now we're not. Can I get flying down the road here? Um, no. Am I taking the wrong way? I mean, there's so many deserts in the goddamn world, I couldn't tell you. One from another. So, I'm just hoping in two minutes I can get to that road and maybe find out where we are. Like, is there a way to, like, look at the dirt and be, you know, well, this type of sand is specific to this desert, and this one isn't, but I don't know. Let me hit this way and try 
I'm real. They got camels. So camels, even though granted they are so in this uh, Sahara, I mean it could be Middle East. I know they don't have camels unless they've imported them in South America. So I've got that narrowed down. I don't believe it's in Asia. So I have a region of the world. If we're going by general um, camel habitat standards. But they could have just brought them from anywhere. I got a minute. I see the road. I'm trying so hard to get there. I see it. And we're snaking back. Why do you do this to me? No. We were so close. A minute. This is just a click race now. Let me get to that road. That sweet, sweet road. Sit here. And we're drifting farther away. No. Damn it. Where'd the trail go? Do we end here? No, we can't. Oh, man. All right, well, it looks like we're uh, fucking anywhere here, so I'm going to click Libya. Or maybe we're over here. We're in this giant swath of land here. I have no idea. I did see a road not too far off. There's plenty of roads everywhere. I'm going to get a terrible score here. Yep. <laughs> I don't care exactly where that is. There was no way I was going to get that. We were near Batin Liwa. How did I not know that? Silly me. Another photosphere. I'm going to get such a bad score here. All right. What can I get from this? This looks to be a shrubbish land with... Is this, this, this is snow, okay. But also this kind of looks arid, deserty. So this is in the morning. And they just, <clears throat> we're near the coast. I want to say, again, this could be the Namib. Could be the Gobi. But we're near ocean or a very large body of water. Now, I'm going to say we're here and see if I'm even anywhere near close because this is my thinking is this is far enough south that, I mean, deserts get super fucking cold. The shrubland makes me feel like this is um, potentially Africa, but again, this is grabbing so hard. This looks like volcanic rock, but it also just looks like Someone took a fistful of dirt and somehow lit it on fire, and it's charred. It almost looks volcanic. That, I... Maybe is a cow with a blue sweater on. See, there's the head, the feet, blue sweater, and there's a hole some, for some reason. Maybe that's a saddle. We got a person up here. Can't tell anything about him. Um, we have another person up here. It almost looks like it's the same guy. And they just photoshopped him over here too. I mean, this could be salt as well, but I don't think it is. I think this is early morning. This is kind of a rusty, jungly kind of runoff. You see, you notice sometimes, but also it just could be a lot of iron in the soil. Or someone, there's like a destroyed car up here and it's all just draining out. I'm semi-confident in at least getting the continent right. So I want to know what's so extraordinary about this. I'm going to make my guess right now. <laughs> All right, what's so extraordinary about this? What is this called? Oh, we were on Hormuz Island, huh? Um, I mean, the only thing on here is the supermarket and the salt gaddis. I had... No idea. Clearly. I explained my logic, though. I really don't know what's extraordinary about that, but I am not going to push it. Okay, this at least 
Vietnam or South America? I mean, it, um, Southeast Asia at least has this style of rice paddy, but also these jagged mountains. Well, let's take a look at this bike. Yeah, it's not in very good uh, resolution. I can at least move. This guy's just getting on and off his uh, scooter here. It's a Honda. I don't know anything about the license plate, so that does not help me. I am leaning more towards uh, this region of the world, though. This entire part here. It is a bit mountainous, and I don't know what parts here are mountainous compared to others. So I'm just going to leave it here, and let's just keep jumping between cliffs here. All right, maybe this will help me. Let's. Okay, we've got WG, although I think that's supposed to be WC for water closet. Um, now, I know that WC doesn't get used much in North America, so we're not there. That's all I can really suss out of that. Hmm. This is pretty fucking cool looking, though. All right, we've only got two spots. Can I get anything else out of this? I'm going to click in here. To at least kind of have an idea. Like it's in here somewhere. I'm going to kind of like. Scroll in a bit. See if I can't see anything that. Like well generally these things are here. And these things are here. But. I don't know. It's a very precarious place to have your house. Especially when they just keep digging. Right up against it. Nothing on the scooter. Um. This looks to be corn. The beginnings of it also could be another plant I've never seen before growing in the wild. It's Honda. <clears throat> like, it would be handy if actually I saw any, like, language markations other than Honda on here, but I'm not. I gotta pause again. Give me a sec. Um, but I don't. Hmm. Now, I do remember hearing it was really weird to me that you don't actually have to have water, paddy, rice paddies. You know, they don't need to be filled with water, actually, for rice to grow. It's just a way of keeping the weeds out, which I had no idea. I thought that was the only way that rice could grow, but no. Apparently, it's been a... It's just, like, easier than sitting there weeding. And I remember years ago at this point watching some sort of nature documentary on how nature's kind of adapted to the rice paddies because these things have been around for so long that plants and animals have kind of just like worked around it. I'm not seeing anything on these to let me know anything. I mean, they do use Roman numerals. I mean, most places do, but... Hmm. This is definitely Southeast Asia. I'm willing to bet that. Now, the problem is, is this Vietnam or Laos or Cambodia or Thailand or Myanmar? I mean, I could not tell you. I think I'm going to, like, put us right there and I'm going to make the guess. Okay. I was pretty close. I mean, we're up here in next to Han Xi Peng. Why didn't I know that? I mean, it's silly me. Ooh, it was a photo opportunity. Oh, God, I'm yawning. Fight it. Okay, I did. Uh, but, I mean, I did a little better than I thought, but fuck, I got two really bad ones, at least score-wise. But you saw what I was working with. Um, fun map. Um, I don't know if I'll do it again. If I do, it'll be a good, like, humbling thing to let me know that, hey, um, you can't pick everything out, and you're lucky to get over 10,000 points, but yeah, that's going to do it for your uh, Wednesday one. It's a bit brief. I mean, looking at it now, 19 minutes and 35 seconds, but that's what you're going to do with a lot of like single image ones where I can't really see much more than what I'm looking at and just not waste your time, I guess. But as always, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, issues, suggestions for any maps or any other games in general, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below, along with the liking, favorite, commenting, subscribing, every you know, all that stuff.
Weekend's halfway done. Hopefully I can work at some point this week. It would be really nice if I could. But we'll be back here for the final episode of the week coming here on Friday. Uh, so until then, folks, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.